Hi there, my name is John Maybe, and welcome to Hippo Shorts. In this segment, we're going to talk about compartment syndrome. Let's take a look at this first slide. So what is compartment syndrome? Well, here's a cross section through the leg. So what compartment syndrome boils down to is this. If you take a look at the red stuff, that's muscle, right? And the green casing around that is the fascia of these muscles. So when these muscles get beat up on, trashed around, squished, or traumatized somehow, they get swollen. So when the muscle gets swollen, it decreases the amount of blood that flows through the muscle tissue. So what do we get as a consequence? Ischemic necrosis. So compartment syndrome is the pressure in those muscle compartments gets too large and it squishes the muscle, damages it, potentially kills it, and it also squishes on the nerves and associated blood vessels. What's the most common cause? Tibia fracture. But there are other reasons why we can get this as well. These include burns, crush injury, arterial or reperfusion injury, or even circumferential dressings, for example, a cast. On this next slide, we see that the diagnosis is made clinically, basically. We talk about the P's. Some people talk about the four P's, the five P's. We're just going to say the P's. So what are the key P's to know about? These first two in yellow, pain out of proportion. So this is a circumstance where the person is just wailing and just has a disproportionate amount of pain that you would think would be appropriate for uh, a type of injury. This might be someone who needs like large doses of narcotics, for example, for pain control. The other key P is pain with passive stretching of the involved muscles. The other things you can get are a sensation of pressure sensation or tightness, paresthesias, pallor, pulselessness, or paralysis. These all are considered late findings, though, in this condition. On this next slide, we can also see some additional things that we can use to help us make the diagnosis. We can find tight compartments on physical exam. What does that feel like? If you get your finger pushed right on the bridge of your nose, that's what a tight compartment feels like. It's hard and firm. We can also measure the tissue pressure using a handheld pressure manometer. So again, the, there's a variation around this in the literature, but for our purposes, we're going to use a threshold value of 30. If you measure the intercompartmental tissue pressure, it's greater than 30 millimeters of mercury. That's a bad sign. So the, also the key finding for this condition is that compartment syndrome is a surgical emergency. So this requires emergent orthopedic consultation for this process. That wraps it up for this segment. For more information on this or other topics, come on down to hipeducation.com and we'll see you next time.